Hey guys, Bruno Barbosa here. So today I will show you guys a quite simple way to do one unisex social haircut. So to start it off, let's split the hair in order to know which hair are from the top and which one of them are from the side. It is a kind of overlooked thing, but we have to do it in order to make one haircut the right way. I will only clip up those hairs out of my way. You don't really need to, it's only if you want. So with my guide number two on, I will start off the haircut going up around two inches and to don't over complicate this haircut, we want to bring the machine up and outward, up and out. So basically the guide number two is gonna leave a kind of line on the contour area. So that's why you're gonna grab the, the guide number three and you're just gonna go after that line. Always keep in mind that you don't want to go with the machine too high up to the line where you split the hair. Trying to keep at least one finger on the contour area because afterward when you go on top, the top hair and the side hair is going to join together nicely. Don't follow the head shape with the machine. Don't bring the machine in. Try to bring it always outward because you're going to give a nice square shape. With my trimmer, I will just make the outline clean a little bit. I won't take too much because personally, I don't like the result. The hair starts to grow again and it just doesn't look good, especially on those social haircuts. And guys, if you like this kind of content, I really encourage you guys to smash the like button below to help me with the YouTube algorithm so this video can reach more people out there, maybe people that need this kind of content or are looking for this kind of content. And also, if you guys have any question or suggestion, I'd love to hear you. Just drop in the comment down below and I'll be answering all of them, right? Coming to her nape area behind the ears, I will just do a straight line down and take the rest of her nape hairs. Around the ears, I will do it quite round, taking as little as I can. I don't want to take this line too high up because it just doesn't look great if you do so. Moving on to the other side, to split the hair the right way at the crown area. It will vary a little bit due to the crown position, but I recommend you guys try to do a bit round. It's just the simplest and easiest way to go. Just try to be consistent with the machine all the time that you are using it. Come back as many times as you need it because you just don't want like leave any longer hairs sticking out, right? Remembering that we don't want to dig the outlines, we just want to clean it. So try to use just the, the corners of the machine it can help you a lot and give you the best and the sharper result. As you guys can see, she's got a kind of patchy nape. So basically I don't like to make a straight line across. What I gonna do here, 
I will do a kind of fade. Yeah, I will start with number one and just fade it up. You don't really need to do it. It's literally up to you. But personally, I think that it look more professional and nicer as well. You have that choice. With one and a half, I will go high up around one finger or one inch. And what you always want to do here is to use the machine against the hair. You might realize that some people has a kind of crown at their nape area, which will probably make a little bit more difficult to fade it down. So you're basically just gonna need more time. Always keep in mind that you want to use the machine against the hair growth. I'm actually not sure whether you guys can see but I'm doing that C motion consistently I'm bringing the machine up and out all the time it's literally just because I don't want to make any lines where I already use the machine because if I do so I have to come all the way back in order to blend that in With the fade already done, I will literally just clean the rest of the hairs with my zero. At the top, you want to wet the hair and groom the hair as much as you can, firstly. If you've never done any haircut whatsoever, I'm afraid but this part is gonna be a little bit confusing for you. Basically what you need to do is comb the hair, bring the hair up and uh, put your finger underneath the comb and pull the hair upward exactly to the point where you wanna cut the hair. We are gonna do it all the way up to the crown. Curl hair is a good idea to let it dry naturally, so for that reason I will grab my blow dryer with the diffuser on it and I will literally dry around 60% and the rest I will just leave it wet to dry naturally. That's basically it for today guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and have learned something from it. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it and I catch you on the next video right? Peace.